Tootie says she's fine with me. If you go home, I'll set her free. Lies. Well, one thing I forgot to do in the last video is to get this... Oops. Stomp on her eyeballs. Specifically, her iris slash pupils. And there's a Jiggy. Also, something I figured out like a minute ago that I never knew before. If you actually very, very lightly push the control stick in the opposite direction you're facing, Banjo will like float, turn around. It'll just like. It's really weird. And he won't start moving, like. Oops, I did it too much. So he's not moving. I'm still holding up the same amount. Oh well, that's not interesting. It's slightly interesting. I found it interesting. So let's go back up to where Clanker's Cavern was. But let's not actually go in Clanker's Cavern. Oops. swim over here to that grating that we opened before. Ew, what's all this? Look at all this moss. Hey, another puzzle. What's that say down there? Bubble Gloop Swamp. If you'll notice, this is that the Bubble Gloop Swamp is the first level that. Wait a minute. Granty's plan is rather cunning. When I'm thin, guys will come running. You'll notice Bubble Gloop Swamp is the first level so far that doesn't really have alliteration slash assonance in the title. Oh, although I guess it does technically bubble, bubble Gloop Swamp. It's a recurring theme in this game. The levels use alliteration or assonance. Like Mumbo's. Bleh. Mumbo's Mountain, Treasure Trove, and then Treasure Trove Cove. So that uses alliteration and assonance. Clanker's Cavern, and Bubble Whip Swamp. It's more later. Oh, there's one of. I've, I missed one of her in the room that I was before. My fat old sister's favorite sport is broomstick racing. They should make a banjo racing game. Well, wait, they already did. Although she's dim, she attended Cauldron College. I actually have Banjo Pilot, also. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is eating a bucket of beans. These don't sound all that gross, but they get gross. They get pretty disgusting. In fact, I am going to go back and get that... Oh, wait. Talking boots! Hey, keep your feet out. You can't use us until you've spoken to bottles. I don't know why, but that's just that's funny to me. It's like the boots have struck a deal with bottles. Not only are they talking, but they're striking deals. We, we're not allowed to wear these boots until a certain point, and the boots themselves are going to be the ones keeping us from doing that. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with moldy cheese-flavored toothpaste. I spelled moldy with a U. I don't think that's a typo. It must 
It must be how they spell it in Britain land. She also washes her hair with engine oil. Yuck. Wait, did they spell yuck without a C? British people are weird. And she gets her clothes from the trash can. Ugh. Whose trash can? Is she the one throwing them out? Why would she throw them out just to use them? So is she like raiding our trash can or something? It's kind of creepy. So let's head back to Bubble Glue Swamp. Ah, it's a giant statue of grunting. Your feathered buddy that you've brung, useless like a pile of dung. Ouch. That wasn't very nice. Come on, camera. Ah, piranhas! This is piranha water. Keep your smelly feet out. Anything back here? Beehive. That's what I thought. So without further ado, let's enter the world. Keep your eyes open for your new move, beak face. Well, those sneaky bastards put the moves right. They put the moves right at the beginning of the level. You're supposed to know to turn around, or at least you'll spend forever looking for it. Probably if you don't know. These are the waiting boots. Chicken legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, chicken. Er, Kazooie. Let's go grab a pair. <laughs> We're already done learning moves here. We're like 10 seconds in. It's probably more like 20. Or maybe 30. Ah, golden o or golden octopus. Golden crocodile. Well, if you shoot eggs in his mouth. Let me crocodile like that. He appears somewhere else. We want yummy egg too. Wait, that's not him. That's another one that looks similar. sound effect. Ow. Let's head this way first. More frogs. Let's kill them. Murder these possibly innocent frogs that are just trying to defend their land like... Defend their home. Wait, we can't get up there. We have to use this. No, no, no! I <laughs> want the extra life. Can I still get it? Yes! Oh, wait, I'm already full on extra lives. Let's use this move. We're probably never gonna use it again. Let me think. Do you use it? Wait, I think you do. In the next world, or maybe you can use whatever. Wait, let's use it. Whee! Make it. Let's grab us a pair of boots. These are times so you want to hurry up and do it, what it is you want to do. Man, Kazooie's got some long legs. Make it back. Not gonna make it. Get, 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 get. Okay. I forgot to mention in the last video what I thought 
what I like think that Mumbo would turn you into if he existed there. And to be honest, I actually never really came up with one. I never tried really, but I don't know, I guess like in the second world he could turn you into a clam and then in the third world he could turn you into a muty snippet. I don't know. Just shows how creative I am. But there is a mumbo hut here. And you'll see what we get to turn into when we get there. And you probably already know because it's Banjo Kazooie, but just in case you haven't, I'm not gonna spoil it. Ah! Holy crap. I just got the ginger, right? No. What did I just get? A mumbo token, I think? Here's a ginjo. Uh, I've never really had much of a problem with the N64's camera controls, but I, I hate it. The one thing I do hate is when you you want it to center like right behind you. Well, it's doing it now, but sometimes you want it to center right behind you, but it'll be like to one side, no matter what. At least talk around time while you push Z. In fact, Z was the only thing you could use the camera for. Now to switch. And we're timed. Hey, wait a minute. Could I cheat and go that way? Maybe not, but... Maybe I could, but... I don't know. I'm not gonna do it. Real men don't cheat. Except in Konami games. Not too bad, but... Can be pretty hard for first-timers. <coughs> My throat. It was over here. Is that a bee? Brr, an ugly, hairy trespasser. He's after our gold. But he'll never beat us all. Oh no, they're frogs. These guys take two hits. Ah! Jeez! I'm having trouble with, like, the depth perception. This needs to be on the 3DS. Hint, hint. And don't give me the whole... rare Microsoft thing, because they're allowed to develop for Nintendo systems. Microsoft doesn't have a competing handheld system, so they're allowed. So, let's go this way first. Get the note, come on. My feet are so dumb and cold. Uh, that's a bit better. <laughs> so funny how he screams. Ah! Tank tops warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. Oh, I very much would like it, thank you. Get it. Let's head on in. What's in here? Notes. And oh my gosh, a turtle. Quiet, please. The famous tip top choir will now perform my latest work. Pink, red, blue! Bit short, isn't it, Shell Boy? We'll see. Copy what you just heard for lesson one. Before I do that, let's get these notes. 
I missed every note. Good job. Let's see. Jeez, I already forgot it. Wasn't it pink? Red, blue? Dark blue? Hmm. Not too bad. Try lesson two. Light blue, red, light blue, dark blue, red. Oh, jeez, I need to not sing. That screwed me up. I don't know. Light blue, red? Dark blue? Ah! No, that's not right. Try again, or ask me to repeat the lesson. Let's see. Light blue. Red. What? Light blue. What? Dark blue. Red. Oh, okay. Ah, splendid. You just need one more lesson. Okay, not gonna sing this time. Red, pink, red, pink, red, <laughs> yellow, pink. Let's see, red, pink, red, pink, red, yellow, um, pink? Yes! Got it! Magnificent. A true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. Sorry, there is nothing more I can teach you. Man, that guy's boring. It's that's because he's a choir director. If this were a band class, it would be much more exciting. Ooh! Hey, a mumbo token. Yeah, take that, choir kids. Before you get all offended, choir kids. Choir is actually all right. In fact, that same friend that I've that I keep referring to was a choir kid. They're both good, but if only one could exist, I mean, I mean, come on, bam. You can have choir at church or something, jeez. But enough enough music class bias. Grunty switch. Whoa, we just blew up her hat. Well, the statue's hat anyway.